The Arizona Chamber of Commerce also released a statement today applauding Ducey's teacher pay plan and offering support from member businesses. And over the weekend, 6,000 volunteers found their own ways to support schools by making improvements, big and small, on close to 100 schools across the valley. They really are just a blessing to all of us here at Ninos. Students and staff at Kyrene de los Ninos Elementary School walked into an improved campus Monday morning, and it's because of Mobilize, a yearly event that gathers the community to fix and clean Valley schools. We have a list of projects that the principals have given us for each specific school, so this is the best way that we can really be part of the community. These lists include repainting bathrooms and sidewalks, binding older books, cleaning the teacher's lounge, filling balls with air, and replacing basketball nets. Volunteer Kyle Hassler says when he was a kid, getting new nets like this one was one of the best feelings. When these kids come out here, it is one of the coolest things, especially at recess. For me growing up, I spent a lot of time out on the basketball court. So to come out and get not only cloth nets instead of the chain, this is uh, what a special treat I think the kids will be in store. Principal Tanya Yalung says the reaction from teachers and students is one of gratitude. What these volunteers can get done in only two hours, she says, is something that would take their staff weeks to do. It's wonderful to come back on Monday morning and hear the buzz in our building from the staff. So their gift of time, their energy is a blessing, and I think my staff, I know, they truly appreciate everything they do. For volunteers with Central Christian Church, the support doesn't stop after they leave these schools. Inside the church, what we're doing is we're putting together teacher appreciation packages. A small gesture that means a lot to many teachers at a time they say they're feeling underappreciated and undersupported. They're raising up the next generation, so we're trying to support them as best we can by volunteering. In Tempe, Gabriella Becerra, Cronkite News.